Welcome, Swordsman, to Dawn of Fractured Memory. <laughs> I did not plan on that rhyming, so... <laughs> I, I got fucking bombed. <laughs> Uh, okay, last we left off, um, Isui and Ken kidnapped Mordred. <laughs> after beating the, after beating the ever living hell out of Mordred a few episodes back, Ken and Isui decided to take Mordred out of Camelot to Radiant Garden. To Jesus Christ, this is actually loud. Hold on, let me. <laughs> I don't know why it always makes this a little louder. Okay, there we go. Uh, Ken and Isui decide to take Mordred over to Radiant Garden for interrogations, while um, Asta and Crystalina uh, kept on traveling throughout Camelot to find the Rift. Uh, Asta and Crystalina uh, decided to uh, went to find the true king of camelot uh with the help of a very terrified yet still helpful knight uh named galahad everyone loves galahad <laughs> and they and galahad informed them that uh the true king of camelot arthur was actually locked up in the dungeons for the time being and was more than willing to help escort them to where he was uh Ken and Isui made their way over to Radiant Garden with Mordred in tow. And Ken had a freaking rage moment where he decided to still beat the hell out of Mordred after Mordred stated that uh, the Cold of Shadows had one extra recruit with the thanks of Ken. Um, with that, the Mem uh, with that, the masters of the guard, uh, the masters of light that were at Merlin's house at the time, Terra, Aqua, Riku, and Axel, learned that. Well, Ken has a shadowy self that was basically torn out of him, and now is a part of the Cult of Shadows. Ken and Riku kind of had their own little talk, a little bit nice heart-to-heart -heart moment, where Riku uh, also revealed that. He did know that Ken was the son of Xehanort. Uh, from their own understanding and because, well, Ken's mother called him. <laughs> uh, Asta and Crystalina uh, united with Arthur Pendragon, true king of Camelot, boy wonder, to which they conversed and eventually figured out that the only place that the rift might have actually appeared to not only cause Mordred to wreak havoc, havoc and to break the spell that Merlin casted on Camelot to protect it must have been over at the Lake of Avalon. Uh, Crystalina and Asta then decided to make their way over to new the lake uh, in hopes of finding the rift, while Merlin decided to try and find the spell that would hopefully set the protection, set Camelot in protection once more, where we are now. Holy cow. That was a bit to recap, but that's what happens when you, uh, when your group decides to split off. Okay, so, let's see who we're starting off with. Uh... Raws, odds or evens? Odds. It's never odd. Got oh. it. <laughs> it's odd this time. <laughs> Alright, so with that, we're going to start with... Um, we're just going to quickly start with uh, Asta and Crystalina, mainly because at this point you guys are just kind of riding to um, Avalon. Um... You know what? Just for grins and giggles, uh, give me an animal handling check to see no. how well you're doing on that horse. <laughs> oh it's okay. Uh, it can't I'll... be worse last time. The, the, I, I don't think it was a nat one last time, so... Don't talk about that. You know, it only goes better. Alright. <laughs> okay. So, Austin, you're... You're 
sort of handling. Uh, Jesus Christ, you have a plus five to animal handling? Yeah, Damn, nice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you're having a little bit of difficulty with your horse, uh, mainly because it's just somewhat stubborn, but <laughs> you're still able to sort of ride this horse. You're not running backwards, or actually walking backwards at this point, but this this horse is a little stubborn, and then you just see Crystalina just whizzing all over the place, like, Wee! No. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, you guys uh, make your way across the uh, across part of uh, the valleys and hills that sort of span out through the kingdom of Camelot. Uh, eventually, you kind of get to a place where you get to sort of take a break. Um, you guys set up a quick little campfire. Um, really, isn't much else to kind of say in this place and at this point until I get. I will say the rest of the gang will be coming to meet you. Um, so yeah, unless there's something you really uh, is there anything you would like really want to do before I like jump over to everyone else and say you get a bit of a rest? Uh, no, go ahead. Okay, so you just kind of chill uh, with Arthur and Crystalina, have a bit of a meal, sort of do a little camping, and I will say that you do get uh, you do get a. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna say you get a long rest. So, all the fun stuff. <laughs> uh, you get your hit dice back. You get all the fun little diddlies. Um, with that, we're gonna flip over to um, Ken and Isui. <coughs> Uh, so you guys have spent a good part of the remainder of the day uh, with Merlin sort of planning stuff out. Um, both of you give me an Arcana check, actually. Uh, you got hit with the Arcana checks, man. <laughs> not the Arcana. He's not the magic guy. He no, he's... N I mean, unless you give him, like, uh, wrathful smite or any shit like that. Good idea. Thanks. <laughs> but no. <clears throat> uh, yep. He doesn't know anything about magic. He usually <laughs> knows things about magic. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. So as so throughout the remainder part of the day, Merlin's uh going over this spell with you, this certain spell with you for this protection uh enchantment over Camelot. Uh, Ken, you have no freaking idea how to work this. You're not a magic man. He's still shook. Uh, he, you're still a little shook too. Um, but you're not really a magic man. You you just like using your keyblade, smacking things. Uh, you still also have your flintlock pistol, which you want to use for a certain someone. Uh, Isui, you have a better understanding of how to work this spell. Um, there are still, like, a couple of things about it that you don't entirely understand, like, how the hell does this, how the hell this spell is powered by a lake and whatnot, or just, like, some of the more detailed technicalities of this spell. But for the most part, you do understand the basics of, like, the incantations for the spell, how to work it, yada yada. Isui is, um, uh, sort of, like, nerd-talking with Merlin about the spell. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a nerd talk moment. Where, but uh, instead of talking about a game with clickety-clackety math rocks, you're talking about magic. Um, you guys will also get a long rest from this. Uh, because uh, you're going to be spending most of... Uh, you spend most of the rest of the day uh, in reading, guarding, yeah, ch chilling, recovering, uh, talking over the spell, making sure that you don't that nothing gets fucked up. Um, 
this would also be a time to like talk to either to anyone else that's there which at this point it's still uh it's like more riku and aqua than tara and axel so um axel just kind of went off to do his own thing uh tara decided to head back to land of departure because he left ven in charge of uh tempest and locus the twins i forgot about them yeah every, everyone forgets about the twins <laughs> Good. um <laughs> yeah uh is there anything you guys would like to do before uh we just sort of jump over to the next day yes okay so <clears throat> so he is just gonna go up to east sweetie and he's the, he's just gonna say hey you wanna um head into the city I could use some fresh air. Yeah. Um, I'd be down for that. You also want to see if that uh, girl is around with the flowers? Oh my God. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yes! <laughs> he says it without smiling. That's just me. Just being... Yeah, yeah. My yeah. fictional what? All right, uh, you guys head out of... Do I even have... I feel like I should. Oh, no, yeah, I do. Is um, Tifa here in Radiant Garden? Huh? Is Tifa here in Radiant Garden? <laughs> uh, don't you, don't know know <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Um, yeah, you guys head out of Merlin's house. Um, you see that Riku and... Uh, Aqua are sort of looking a little uh, concerned for the two of you, but I mean, they're also kind of like trying to be sort of a little bit of a parental uh, figures and like give you guys your privacy and distance. Um, also, my voice is doubling. Yeah. So. Uh, Angel, I think we can hear ourselves through your speaker. <laughs> I wish you I can hear I can hear myself at least. Well, I didn't notice it until just now. Until now, really? Yeah. 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 Then if that's the case, here, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet myself and you guys speak really. really. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Um. But oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. I can can easily. Wait. Did that? Did that fix it? Um. Can I, can I muted myself. Did you guys hear yourself twice again? I don't. Hear my, I don't hear myself doubling now, so whatever it was stopped. All right, then let me, uh, all right, so in my headphones, <laughs> yeah. Um, Isui, you kind of help lead Ken out of the residential area of Raiding Garden over to the uh, sort of marketplace or sort of into the inner city area. Um, I know, I, I feel like I know, I know who you're looking for, obviously, because I'm not that much of an idiot. Uh, I just can't remember. Has Isui met her? I don't think she has, but <laughs> I would love to say that she heard of her, but realistically, Wait, I don't. Yeah. Know. I think we have because we came here before on our first, but like when we were first here, like on our first hunt oh, for the. Whoa. Yeah, right, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, you did. You did. You did. Because she was in uh, Merlin's house with Sid. Okay. Yeah. So. The committee. Yeah, you guys. You welcome. Yeah. So <laughs> you guys make your way out of uh, that area. You kind of uh, look around. Um, Isui, I'm guessing you're like actively trying to look for. Uh, Do we even need to play the pronoun game at this point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are thought uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you actively looking for Aerith? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to say either perception or investigation. You got it. Uh, perception it is. 60. Oh, damn, nice. Yeah, no, so you look around, um, you kind of follow the flowers, because, I mean, 
She drops Why flowers not? all the way there. A trail of flowers. <laughs> It's like, a, well, not only that, it's just like a trail of people who are sort of a little happier because they were given flowers. So you kind of follow everything back. Uh, and then you just kind of are led to this sort of little um, booth, little, like, bizarre, like a bizarre booth thing uh, where the sort of like right next to a flower bed garden where you see Aerith... Uh, Handing out like little bouquets of flowers and stuff, and it's just all around adorable. Oh. Um, go her. Yeah, go her. Go Aerith. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Look over to Ken and I say, "Okay, we found her. What do we do now?" <laughs> oh my god. This was your idea. Right, right. Um, okay. You ever met her before, Ken? We both have. Oh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, let's let's go talk to her. All right, yeah, you guys sort of walk up. Uh, she immediately, uh, kind of notices you as she's sort of done with a customer and she just kind of smiles and cheerful way and waves and she's like oh hey guys it's good it's good to see you hi how's it going earth oh, it's going good and just uh, i've been uh tending to some of the flowers here uh radiant garden and i just kind of thought hey why not sell some bouquets to people and just make their day feel better oh yeah, uh, you are really sweet for that. Um, my friend here could uh, really use one of those if you uh, don't mind, of course. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Is everything okay? He has been going through a lot <laughs> lately, and uh, I don't know, I figured uh, flowers are nice, and uh, you are the master of Flowers that really sounds like. Can my friend have a bouquet? <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of nods, uh, kind of goes around, uh, kind of takes a step out of the booth, goes over to like the flower bed uh, behind it, and just kind of starts going around, grabbing some of the flowers, and it's like, yeah, I can understand going through some tough, uh, going through troubles. I mean, I can remember all the stuff that me and cloud and the others went through you haven't seen cloud you haven't seen cloud recently have you which he yeah. doesn't say that in character by the way <laughs> i don't think uh, we've met cloud here no he's somewhere brooding uh yeah probably well i hope he's doing okay it's been it's been a little bit since i last saw him but still uh, you see that she sort of finishes up uh, and start with collecting all the flowers and she's back over to the booth. Uh, starts grabbing like sort of like wrapping paper to put around it, some like ribbon and whatnot. And you can see that uh, most of the flowers she has are sort of of a bluish sort of bluish purple mix of colors and whatnot. Um, it, nothing like too vibrant or like really bright or anything. It's just like those mellow sort of color, uh, sort of like purplish blue mix of colors. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, and she's just kind of wraps them and she wraps it all in, uh, paper, uh, sort of wrapping paper around the stems or ties it off. Um, and she hands it over to you, Ken, and she goes, Well, whatever you're going through, I hope everything works out for the better. Thank you. Thank you for the flowers as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you... Uh, you sort of take a whiff of these flowers and uh, just kind of hold them, and... You can... 
Uh, actually, give me. Uh, do, do, do what do I want to make you roll for this? He gets, uh, he gets fucking the ball. Constitution saving throw. No, no, no. Uh, give me, give me, sir, just give me just a pure wisdom check. <laughs> yes, these flowers look very. Uh, she's, the, she's the villain all alone. <laughs> gets fucking blasted. Twelve. <laughs> okay, now that oh, that's. You said a check or saving throw. Check. It's not a saving throw. She's not poisoning you. <laughs> Just making sure, right? No. Um. So as you kind of like are, as you're like holding this bouquet and sort of like getting a whiff of the flowers, you do kind of feel a little bit calmer as you kind of, uh, as you hold these, and you uh, notice that uh, most of the colors sort of have a mix of representation of like either you or Darken or some sort of amalgamation of the both of you. And even though it's you're still having a hard time trying to accept the fact that he was like literally just ripped out of you, uh, just the sight and sort of just sort of like the sight and smells of the flowers that you're holding here uh, just kind of gives you a little bit of a calming sense that kind of helps. Uh. Thanks for the help, Aerith. Um, really all you want. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, well, um, <laughs> always good to see you. And uh, can I hug her? Can I hug my wife? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, you go in for a hug with Aerith. She happily accepts it. Um... And uh, as you kind of uh, release from your embrace, she looks to both of you and she's like, now if you guys ever need to, you're more than welcome to come find, find me, all right? I'm not really going to be anywhere else. Okay. Um, good to see you. Good to see you. Bye-bye. And yeah, she waves at you with a smile in her face and a sort of kind twinkle in her eye as you step away from her little flower uh, booth. Uh, wait, well, one last thing. Um, I say to Isui, and I'm like, um, did you want to... Oh, while we're here, this is something I meant to tell you about when we got here. Um... Did you want to upgrade something when you're working? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. It, doesn't have, it doesn't have to be physical. I mean, it could be like magic, magical, like you can boost magic power, or it could. Oh, or if um, Aqua's still around, you can uh, get maybe you can ask her about some Keyblade armor. Um, I think I. I mean, I, yeah, I guess I can try and ask, but I don't think I'm really looking for any upgrades right now outside of that. But I can definitely go and ask her about armor and stuff. Okay. That's a cool All right, so... <laughs> All right, so you make your way uh, back over to Merlin's place. You open the door. You see that... Um, you see that Merlin, Is uh, Aqua, and Riku are still kind of like conversing amongst themselves about uh, a couple of things, probably about whether or not to bring Sora back into the mix of things. Uh, they, uh, you open the door. Uh, they sort of turn to see the two of you, and they go, and you see Ken go. Everything all good. Yeah, hey. Um, sorry to uh, interrupt again, Master, uh, but <laughs> I was just wondering if... Um, I don't know if you ever brought this up in a lesson before, but I was wondering if you could teach me that trick with the, the armor you had? You see... Um... 
Aqua kind of chuckles as you say that, and she, and she goes, "Yeah, I had a feeling you'd ask about that. Honestly, the twins have been asked, uh, Tempest and Locus have been asking Terra about their armors so many times within the last. Well, since you've been gone, to be fair, but even before that, Riku just kind of looks over and is like, "Yeah, I've also been trying to ask you about that." Right? It's it's really <laughs> awesome what you can do. <laughs> Um, she kind of, uh, she looks over to you, kind of puts her, uh, summons her keyblade and kind of rests it, uh, on the table and she goes, it's honestly not as easy as you think. Like, I mean, I know part of this also kind of revolves around the keyblade glider, which is a whole nother thing in itself, but the whole reason, one of the main reasons we had the Keyblade arm, me, Terra, and Ven had the Keyblade armor was because unlike you, Riku, and Sora, or even you, you two kids now, we didn't have a gummy ship to travel across uh to uh, travel across uh, the worlds, we had to rely on our gliders, and traveling on them, um, just as we were now, uh, would result in, well, let's just say that there's, it, it's not fun. It, it, the armor itself helps, uh, helps us uh, helps us be protected from the darkness that we would encounter whenever traveling through the worlds. Now, granted, considering where you guys are at, um, I don't know if this... Uh, it's not necessarily a... something that I can truly give you guys at the moment now. I can talk to Terra and Terra and some of the others and see if we can get you guys some but for right now I'd say it's something to be given only when you're ready uh, I whisper to Ken uh, it was worth a shot and then I say uh, well uh, I uh Guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but, uh, thank you for, uh, so you're sure, like, there's no way that I can just, like, I do, um, Ma Master Aqua, if you don't mind me interjecting for a second. Um, of course not, Ken. Uh, what about teleportation? Because uh, it's a bit of a, a running joke uh, amongst our crew that Lisa, we have any size. she cannot <laughs> teleport. And we saw yeah, that. Aqua guys... just sort of. Yeah, Aqua just sort of looks at East and is like, Yeah, so I've heard. <laughs> uh, she kind of clears her throat and is like, Well, can you teleport, Ken? See, now, here's the thing. I don't go around. <laughs> you know, he says, see, now, here's the thing. I don't go around saying I can teleport. And also, it seems like only you, uh, Tara, and Ven can teleport. So I thought it was something because of, you know, your training. And, you know, because you're training Isui and Tara's training the two. To be fair. Riku also kind of, Riku also kind of chuckles listening in on this. And he kind of goes... Well, you may be, you're not entirely wrong that the, they do, are some of the more, that they do it a lot easier than most, but the key, but it's all sort of in the power of the Keyblade itself, Ken, which, to you, which, yes, the Keyblade is used to open things and dispel Heartless and Nobodies, but throughout Sora's travels, he's even used it to unlock 
lanes to travel in between the worlds, and honestly, that's the closest teleportation I've ever seen him do. Um, I'd, but yeah, I'd say it's almost a matter of sheer. I'd say it's almost a matter of willpower and determination. I Which guess, is one reason why it never came around to Sora. I guess I'll have to have to uh, find my strength the same way he found his. But um, <laughs> I punch Ken in the arm and say, "I whisper, I'm like, Ow. for that little you stuff, you're paying, <laughs> you're paying for ice cream <laughs> next time, you asshole." Well, I was kind of, you know, he kind of motions to Mordred just lying there pretty much almost dead on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, I was kind of, you know. Well, all right. At this point, I'm going to actually have to roll something to see if he's conscious because it's been like a few hours since mm -hmm. that happened. Uh, Wait, no, I don't want ro I don't want that. I want the I want base Mordred. Well, if he was awake, then I'm pretty sure they would have moved him away once Ken and, like, Eastwick came in, because then we would have yeah. had, like, another Winter Soldier episode. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no. All right. Uh, let me roll a... The hell did I roll last time for him to try and get out of it? I think it was, like... Uh, was, it Kurt, was it Kurt's one? It was either Wisdom... I want to say it was either Wisdom or Constitution. Probably was no. I don't think it would. It's, it's not really street smarts. It's more like con I guess it would be more like constitution. Street smarts. Yeah, I'm just gonna do con saving throw. I think I did something else other than con last time around. So let's just go for con now. Let me roll it against the highest attack power that I put out to him. <laughs> My attack power. Goes up by a hundred. Okay, come on. Come on, Mordred. Do I really have to manually roll this out? Wait, isn't that what you were? Oh. Okay, well, this is... Alright, well, it's time for me to actually pull out dice for once. Jesus. Hell yeah. Um, you know what? Let's, let's, give the duck, let's give these duck dice some fun. Uh, there's oh, a d20. Nice. Let's fucking go. Okay. Right. Oh, Jesus. There they are. That took forever. All right. Uh, never mind. What is that? A twelve? No. Wait. What is that? Okay, hang on. Wait, no. Wait. I it. it I did it spam. Whisper roll? It spam. No, it didn't whisper roll. It spam rolled because it was taking forever to load. I don't I see it. Anything either? <laughs> I think it was whisper. Right. Uh, no, Do these it. weren't whisper roll. Uh, <laughs> these weren't whisper rolled. So. I have one, two. I, that I have five. I have five rolls up on right now. I don't know why. Here, how about this? But right. I'll just roll a d twenty, and you can add his modifiers. No, <laughs> no, I'm rolling the d twenty. DM so writes. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, and I'm using the mighty duck die. So it's not waiting. Uncle Scrooge, don't fail me now. Okay, that's a 13, plus... Okay, so that's a freaking 19. Yeah, no, he's awake, so... Uh, yeah, I'd say that they kind of pulled him off to an area where you won't... Uh... So, yeah, you guys don't really see Mordred anywhere, but you... But, uh... Um... No, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he is awake. But um, I'm gonna say you can just hear a bunch of like rattling and like the sound of like someone like kick trying to kick at a door or something in the background of just all this happening. Um, as soon as he hears that stuff, he's just gonna be like, uh, he's gonna grab Isui's hand and he's gonna be like, all right, let's let's, let's just um, yeah. Let's sleep in. I, I'm going to sleep in the gummy ship. You want to come along? <laughs> yeah. 
Are we going to share beds or something? Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. We have separate quarters. Fine. Silly. You don't want to share beds with me? My heart is broken. I never said that. Oof. I feel my heart crack. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just a little, just a little tear in Isui's eye. Okay. No, I um, think I know where you, did you get that from somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where the girl had freaking like broken. Right, well, I missed it, so I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I feel my heart. <laughs> that show is a classic. Okay, where? There we go. Um. Oh, jeez. I was not expecting that. You got me off guard. You caught me off guard there. What is this <laughs> doing, you know? Okay, damn, that is a high level spell. Jesus. Are we about to give me your sword? Are we about to uh, your no, I'm not giving you anything. Oh. I'm just looking something up. Uh, along the same lines of what we've been talking about, but... Um, the teleport spell. Also, why did yeah. I have a feeling that uh, when we asked about the keyway armor, I was have I, I was just like, watch out, she's gonna be like, uh, no fucking silly, you're not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty damn close, yeah. Fuck. And there's, I mean, okay, if we're wanting to get all technical about this, uh, uh, command style key bearers with this class uh, do get key bearer armor, but it doesn't happen until twentieth level. Damn. Yeah. Which is kind of ridiculous, because it's... Which is a little ridiculous, because, I mean, that's kind of double standard for... So... There is that, but... I might... Figure something else out later. Uh, what level are we at right now, currently? You guys are at, like... You guys are like eight or nine. I lost count. Like what? Yeah, right. Um, I would say. I mean, uh, I mean, I'm just suggesting things. If you want to make it homebrewy, uh, instead of going for yeah, level, you can make it like tenth or thirteenth or so or twelfth, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Yeah, I might end up pulling some uh homebrew fuckery. Uh, homebrew. hold on. Let me check one uh, thing. No! Oh, the kunai! I didn't drop that. No, oh no. Ooh. I would be missing many toes if that's the case. I would never drop. Uh, Rest in peace, my leg. Damn. <laughs> Rest in peace, ice cream time. <laughs> no, that's when Roxas left. Axel uh, was just like, no, rest in peace, ice cream time. Oh my god. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna check the rest of that stuff later, um, but, oh, jeez, I am terrified by those new freaking tokens. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's go, Angel! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. No, everyone's got new tokens that I now have to replace for everyone. <laughs> That's fine. I that's fine. I, I'm not gonna replace it. This I'm, I'm, I'll replace it on the next arc, not this arc. I'm too lazy. Okay. With that said, uh, you guys head over. T uh, is there any like anyone else you wanted? You guys wanted to talk to or any more like heart to heart moments you guys wanted to end up doing or? Um, I think that's pretty much it. For me, uh, I would say that when we get to the gummy ship and we like start to settle down, I think before Ken fall goes to sleep, he's gonna um, go. Is it, I'm pretty. Is there a bathroom there in in the gummy ship? It's kind of like a move. It's like a flying RV kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I'm gonna say yes because uh, because otherwise that would have been a little annoying for Sora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. He's gonna go into the mirror. He's gonna just. He's gonna. You know how when characters have a very important moment in their character mm -hmm. and they cut their hair, he's gonna cut his hair down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll put a picture in the Discord of what it looks like. I had this prepared already, and I was like, "Oh, oh you sneaky bastard! I love it." Oh my just God, got a he's little bit hotter. Go yeah. He's going through a fate. <laughs> 
No, he just cut it nice and short. Uh, for here, I'll put it in the chat. He is about to grow ten times older. All right. Um. Yeah. What do we got? Oh. <laughs> I had nice. To, like, here's one I prepared earlier. But no, um, for those on the stream, since y'all can't see it, it's pretty much just a shorter cut. He he just cut longer hair in the back, make that like close. Wants to make it as less. He he wants to make it as less Zaynor as possible. <laughs> pretty much, it's like him finally, you know, releasing himself from that curse. Stepping but into not the zone. Really. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So yeah, this is like okay. when he used to be as fond as falling asleep, and he. Heads back to bed, and he's gonna just fall asleep. Yeah, alone because yeah. Ken is not there anymore. Yeah, uh, Ken. Ken, after Isui's kind of gone to sleep, you head over to you head over to the ship's the little outhouse bathroom thing. It, it I don't know. I keep thinking whenever. When you start bringing it up, I keep thinking like air, airplane bathrooms. Oh, God. so maybe maybe a little bit bigger because I mean Donald Donald's not that skinny. <laughs> Do ducks, do uh, ducks poop? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> duck, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. But here's the question: Can Donald Duck poop? I don't see an asshole anywhere. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Oh, uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. I'm gonna go. Oh, my God. oh, get that picture. Damn it, Angel. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so, as you're looking in the bathroom mirror, um, it's just kind of like one of those moments where. Like you're like looking in the bathroom mirror, and you just kind of like can't stop getting that uh, the scene out of your head with uh, Mordred ripping Dark Ken out of your chest, and the two of them walking away, and sort of as and as you kind of look at yourself, you uh, kind of slowly turn your eyes over to the scissors pick them up, and just start sort of snipping the scene still playing in your head. Uh, run some water, sort of brush everything off. You look at yourself, and you've definitely cut... Uh, actually, give me... Oh, do I want to make you roll for this? <laughs> do I cut my no. ear off while I fucking... <laughs> oh, God, no. No, <laughs> no, no. Um... No, you look at yourself. You've cut your hair. You've cut your hair shorter. Um, looks nothing like how you had it before. Looks nothing like how it doesn't look anything Xehanort esque. It honestly maybe looks a little Riku esque, but um, it's definitely a new. It's definitely a different look for you. It's getting edgy in here. It's getting. Oh no! If it were edgy, I would have pulled all the hair over his eyes. Mm. Yeah, they just gun full Zaynord emo. Give him like emo Nord. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, morning comes around for you guys. Uh, Isui, uh, you get up out of bed. Can you get up? Uh, Isui, he's got shorter hair now. Hey, good morning, Ken. When the point? Why the fuck did that happen? <laughs> uh, last night, I uh, when he had fallen asleep, I was just you know thinking, and I I cut my hair. Well. That's pretty good sound effect, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, it looks really nice. I think it really suits you. Uh, Thanks. I didn't know you uh, were good at cutting care. I thought it was like a hard skill to take on, but 
I don't know, it looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I wasn't really... I just wanted to just get away from the whole Xehanorty thing. Yeah. Mm. I respect that. Yeah. Are you taking care of that bouquet, by the way? Yeah, I have it. I, I, I kind of had to sleep with it because it. I had no desk to put it on, so I had to just... <laughs> Roll nature check. <laughs> <laughs> Just for just for grins and giggles. Yeah, Ooh, he oh, knows shit, that yeah. Of flowers. He's a, he's a <laughs> he he's knows a, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you see that? Uh, yeah, no, you took care of those flowers. They were nice and calming, so it was kind of hard to like let go of them. But uh, you were still able to like take care of them. They don't look smushed. They don't look wilted. Uh, still look just as beautiful as the day they were get picked, which is a little weird, but hey, it's Kingdom Hearts. Everything's magical, even ice cream. Which only has one flavor. One flavor, goddammit. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, so but, uh, uh, you... This isn't Ben and Jerry's. Oh, I need some Ben and Jerry's <laughs> in my life. How do you think... Uh, uh, how do you think Austin and Crystalina are holding up, Ken? Um, I I hope they're holding up pretty good. Let's close our eyes and see how they're doing. Mm. <laughs> um, you know what I did? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I that went over my head, but um, yeah, only only Delta Rune players would get it. Oh, oh no wow. wonder. Well, I thought I had it, but it also went over my head. <laughs> okay, so you guys make your way out of the gummy ship. Uh, you uh, Merlin said to head back to his place uh, in the morning. With, so you guys wake up. You uh, head over to Merlin's house. You see that um, he's got his bag with him, which is... Like, you see that he's got his bag, he's going over, uh, grabbing a bunch of stuff, and he's like, well, that should be just fine. Oh, you two are here. Wonderful, wonderful, perfect timing. Uh, are you get, Are you two ready? Hmm? Ready for... Ready. Yeah, we're about to depart uh, soon. We just have to do stuff. Uh, what, what, you about to go into town? Wait, you to do. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm coming with you. Oh. Yes, okay. well, I, fig I figured that if Mordred did end up messing with the he spell before, and it, it, he did. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I went over the spell with you. I mean, it's just to have safety precautions and all that, you know. Well, yeah. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about the. I wouldn't worry too much about the ship. I'll have we we can pick that up later. But I assume you two are rested up and ready. Oh, by the way, Ken, that is a very nice haircut. Right, that's what I said. Thank you. Dewey didn't give it to you, did he? Who? <laughs> Dewey, one of the triplets. He's I no, no, don't never. Know what's going on right now. Uh, yeah, but never mind. Don't worry about that. Um, right. Now, are the two of you ready? Yes. Uh, can I say goodbye to Riku really quickly? Um, you don't see Riku or Isui around at the moment. Isui, where'd you go? Uh, God damn, not Isui. Uh, damn it. Uh, you don't see uh, Aqua or Riku around at the moment. Damn. They're not in the house? Uh, no. I, uh... You wanna FaceTime in and just say, hey, we're heading out? Yeah. Let's do it. He told us yeah, sure, you do... Yeah, you, uh, whose gummy phone are you calling? Uh, in the... 
All right. Um, all right. So you give a ring. You see. Uh, you see Riku's face pop up. Um, it looks like they're uh, outside of town. They're like, "Oh, hey, you two. Is everything okay?" Hi. Um, Hi, Mr. We're, Riku. Uh... <laughs> hey, Isui. Do you sleep well? Yeah. Uh, uh, we are about to. Well, Ken was about to explain, but. Wow, I suck at conversations. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do. But it's fine. Um, we are about to uh, go uh, head and we're about to head out to Camelot and uh, Merlin is joining us this time around. Yes. Yeah, no, Merlin was talking about that all last night. Um, Aqua and I are heading to meet up with the rest of the um, Keyblade Masters and we're going to actually put it, put this whole bring Sora back thing to a vote instead of just the f instead of just uh, lightly talking about it. I think we're actually just going to discuss it and put it to a vote, see whether or not it's we should do it, but uh, hope everything goes well for you guys. Um, uh, oh, one question. I, I meant to ask you this for at, like when we first got here, but you know that happened. But um, how is Namine? I remember she I, uh, out of character. Yeah, I remember she was with us in the beginning. Like she was with yeah, me. yeah. She was yeah. She was with you. She was with you and Rico in the beginning. Uh, he. So not sense like she's doing good. Nominee is fine. She's been helping out Ansem and uh, Ienzo a little bit. Um, actually, it's, she's been helping out a lot uh, ever since we figured out who uh, uh, figured out uh, a little more about Colsax and the whole thing behind him. So she's helping figure out how we could get him back. Okay. Well, I hope I can see her sometime because it's been a while. Been a while. He's like a, first thing, a, first but. things first, Ken. Take care of Camelot, and when you can, go see your mother. Would you? Did ever since the, her, ever since uh, you talked to her last, she's been a little worried. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll uh. I'll see, uh, yeah, I'll see if the gang wants to, you know, see, but, you know, wants to go. He nods, um, after a little quick goodbyes, uh, you guys hang up, and Merlin looks over and is like, all right. Now, um, is everyone ready? For yes. good? Mm -hmm. Right, now, you might feel a little bit of a pinch, pinch on this, but I assure you that... Uh, I've, that we that this will end a lot easier than it that than you would expect. Um, huh? <laughs> no hopping on now. No hopping on each other. Um, probably be best if you held on to each other. If that's all right, this this might be a little bit tricky. Um, uh, you see, you see, he taps his wand. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh no, 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 no! It's <laughs> like he's just like awkwardly just like looks over and he's like, "What do you mean by hold on to?" Immediately leap into Ken's arms. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we talking? We like talking Scooby Doo leap. Yeah, Scooby Doo leap. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, um. No, oh, Jesus. No, I'm not gonna. Do that. I'm not gonna do that. Um, you Scooby Doo leap into Ken's arms. Uh. You see Merlin tap his wand, uh, say a bunch of bibbity bobbity nonsense. Uh, sparks of magic start to fly around you, and the entire time Ken is just like fucking confused. He's like, "What the <laughs> hell is going on?" He tells me he's gonna be a bit, like, uh, "Oh, this is happening so fast." <laughs> yeah, and you guys disappear from Merlin's house. 
Oh. Now we'll f- we'll finally cut over back to uh, Asta and uh, Crystalina and Arthur. So it is the morning. You guys have woken up. You guys are starting to pack up camp uh, and get onto your horses. And uh, a little ways off in the distance, you hear a bunch of sort of like crackling sounds, but not necessarily, it's not like natural crackling. It's like almost like fireworks. Uh, did, do you guys hear that? Christina looks out and is like, yeah, no, that was weird. Arthur just looks over and is like, oh, I think I know who that is. Follow me, guys. Um, and he heads off towards the direction of where the sound was with his horse in tow. Uh, I guess I'll uh, grab my horse and try to scurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys make your way to... Uh, it's like a few... You guys make your way like a little bit further down the valley. And you see... Ken, Isui, and Merlin all just sort of there with like sort of like crackling magic effects sort of like dissipating. Isui's in Ken's arms Scooby-Doo style for some reason. <laughs> and Merlin was like, well, now that worked out. Uh, does everyone have their fingers? Make sure to count your fingers. What? We're, we lose fingers with this? <laughs> Isui pushes oh, I mean, it's... <laughs> kind of like Did Isui learn how to teleport? <laughs> oh, I thought it's not her doing. Oh, 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 um. The pain sorry. is everlasting. <laughs> and then he's gonna, yes. he's gonna gently sit Isui down. He's gonna be like, I, I'm sorry. Do not ever do that again. <laughs> hey, you jumped into my arms. You were the one who grabbed me. I fondly remember. Fondly. I remember that you. And fondly? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it was really you... cool. It was really cool, but don't ever do that again, please. I didn't do it. Okay. Just. Hey, Asta. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi, Asta. Um. Did you cut your hair, Ken? Yes. This, uh. I did this last night. Oh, it, uh. It looks good on you. Thanks. Wow, everybody's so nice today. Well, you've been through a lot of shit. So. <laughs> is that God talking to me, or is that Merlin? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that answers the question. All right, uh, Merlin looks over to Arthur, and he's like, well, you've definitely grown up a lot. And I see you haven't changed a bit. You still haven't trimmed your beard. Oh, shut up about that. <laughs> anyway, um, shall we move on? I still am kind of shook at what just happened. What just happened again? Like, all of that happened in, like, two seconds. I don't know what happened. All of a, all of a sudden, I'm from I'm in Radiant Garden. A D-Suite leaps into my arms. You and grabbed and me. He, and all of a sudden, we're here in the middle of this grassy hilly plant. Where are we? Oh, we you're... Are... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, um... You look like Camelot. Just... <laughs> yes, we are technically in Camelot. We're actually on the outskirts. Um, you can see the castle is, like, all the way over there. Oh, Avalon... He turns... the... Yeah, he turns around. You see the castle in the distance. Oh. Merlin's just like, uh, let's see, and then the Lake of Avalon should be somewhere over this direction. He just points like he just points in like a direction that's like maybe a few degrees off from where the castle is. And Arthur's like, "Merlin, you've been out. The, you've been out of Camelot for too long. That is not where Av the lake is. The lake's this way." Points uh, points the direction. Uh, I'll say he. Arthur points in the direction that you guys have been going in for the last like day or so, and Merlin's just like, "Oh." Oh, uh, yes, that's right. The other direction is where Kansas is. What's Kansas? Don't worry about that. Hmm? Are we not in it anymore? 
<laughs> I don't know what this Kansas is, but it sounds very, very hot. As in, ter in terms of weather. Not like, in like, I don't know how a state can be, like, sexy, but I mean... Someone hasn't seen Italian. Italian. No, Ken, that's Agraba. Agraba. Yes. I know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, yes, you know, what, to, you know what. You know Agraba. Yeah, he had to use some brain. Agraba. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... um ooh, he, uh, he notices that the uh, Asta came in on horseback, and he's like, What? I, oh, I saw you on a horse. How did how would how did that happen? How did that come about? Well, we weren't just gonna walk an entire day trip on foot, were we? No, I thought you guys had you know. <laughs> bless you. Uh, I thought <laughs> I thought uh, good point. I guess you got a point. I don't know how else you're gonna get out of here, but I've never seen any of like I've never seen a horse that close up before. I um I haven't been doing great with it, but you know you know it's fine. Have you named it? Did I? No, I. Are there? Do you know if the horse has a name? <laughs> uh, are you just sort of saying this to the group, or are you saying this to Arthur? Yeah, I'm asking Arthur because I that's the only person oh. I think would know. Oh, Arthur just kind of looks and is like. Hold on, there's several horses that look like this. I need um he just kind of looks at it. Uh I'm going to actually make him roll something real quick here. I want to make him roll animal handling to see if he actually knows which horse this is. This boy smart or not? Oh Wait, god damn it. Cuz I mean you're relying on memory. Um of course, my game is lagging again. It's time for the duck dice. <laughs> All right. Now, Arthur is very bad at animal handling, but he's not the worst. Uncle Scrooge, don't fail me now. That's a fucking six. Um... So yeah, you see Arthur looks around at this horse, trying to find like certain it looks like he's trying to find like certain distinguishing marks. Oh Jesus. Um <laughs> He looks and it's like Yeah, okay, so there are several horses that look like this. Um I think this one Okay, now it shows up. Alright, uh well that's worse than the role I did, so you see that Arthur looks and is like, okay, this is either Charles, Gertrude, or Rufus. I am not entirely sure which one. That answers the question. I mean, Rufus is like Rufus. the coolest name <laughs> that has ever been uttered. Now, okay, really quickly, what is the personality of this horse? How has this horse been treating, you know, you? This horse has been getting distracted constantly and uh that's the only reason i've been doing bad while riding him sounds like gertrude then <laughs> <laughs> uh let's just jump to the third one uh do you want to test your bet on that i i guess <laughs> do i i mean i sure as long as i'm not like you know dying <clears throat> all right um you know what i'm gonna Say, make it, you know, no, let's have you do an animal handling check. Let's go. <laughs> He's has one in animal handling, so let's see how this Yeah, goes. so did Arthur. He's the master of horses. Horse eye. <laughs> yeah. No, you look at this horse, and like, based on what um, Asta was saying, how it's been. Yeah, no, this probably, this horse is probably a Gertrude. Also, the fact that um, two of the two of the other names were male horse names, and the other one was a female. This one's not a male horse, so <laughs> oh, put two and two together. Did I stutter though? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, um, what were the three names again? I forgot. On uh, Charles, there? Rufus, or Gertrude. They're all like. Pretty much male names. 
Or even so I'm, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with Gertrude. Gertrude sounds like a funny, cool, but like a person who's like easily like annoyed kind of name. They might say hilarious. Okay, yeah, but how Not does Gertrude? Not, okay, you know what? Moving on. <laughs> This is something for this is something for a talk show later. Um, also, I heard that Carl, you're not getting away with that. that you're not slick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So with that, Merlin just kind of looks and is like, Arthur, you didn't get any horses for the three of us. Well, I didn't know you would be just jumping out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, what what's up with that? I thought you guys had had your own ride. Oh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we'll just take turn. Wait, does he have a fine well, steed? Worst case scenario, I guess we can just teleport. Not because we have gun. Merlin here now. How about this? We can use these dynamite sticks as like propeller, uh, propellers. <laughs> like, 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 oh, we, can, oh. we can set them off, and then it'll launch us into their direction. <laughs> Somehow, I feel <laughs> like that's not gonna work. Or you put it uh, behind us. It can be motivation for the horses to keep moving. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. Merlin just <laughs> looks at you two and is like, you are terrible. Out of character, out of yeah. character. Out of character. Okay. Alright, um, so... I guess I could love it. Nah. No. <laughs> nah, either way, uh, you guys start making your way out. Um, you guys take turns. You, get, you guys kind of... Um, uh, as you're like still trying to cover parts of the hills, uh, you guys share horses. Um, then uh, you guys make your way over to. Uh, you know, in, instead of us like just taking turns, like walking and like riding, aren't there three people on horseback? Like there's Arthur, then there's Austin, then there's Crystalina. Yeah, no, uh, for most of the parts uh, throughout the plains area up until getting to, like, a line in the tree forest, uh, you guys are all, there's, like, two people on a horse for that part of it. So, like, Arthur and Merlin are sharing a horse, um, Crystalina and one of you guys is sharing a horse, yeah, that, that kind of thing. It's a very bumpy ride. I wanted to share the horse with Arthur. <laughs> uh, all right so you do you guys uh do that for a good part of uh the morning and then you guys make your way over to a tree line uh for forest this uh and you guys start to enter this forest um well first off you guys then uh leave the horses sort of out by the tree line because horse and forest and they're going fast in a situation like that you're going to get whacked by a tree branch <laughs> um yeah after that uh, you guys start to sort of traverse uh inside the uh inside into the forest uh, I'm gonna say Arthur is sort of up ahead, so I'm gonna have him. Do I dare make him roll something? I mean, you can um, try. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Um, let's have him roll a nature check. Okay. Ten, that's not bad. Uh, I'm turning the freaking toggle off. I'm turning the advantage off, though, because that's ridiculous. Let's go. Um. So. Yeah. So you see, Arthur is like making his way through the forest, and it's a little difficult to kind of maneuver around all of this. But um, he seems to be doing okay at it. Like he's not the best, but he's not really the worst. He's. Like, sort of, like, whacking through brush and whatnot. Um, Can't have to make a survival check to make sure he doesn't get lost again. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, oh everyone God. roll me... Uh, oh, everyone roll me nature. <laughs> I didn't right? everybody, oh, God. I just got everybody in trouble. Oh, God. Nature or survival? Yeah. So, uh, you know what? You can... That's that's true. So give me give me survival. Uh, and I'm gonna roll for Crystalina and Merlin. 
I'm sorry, everybody who gets in that who gets a low roll. That's I didn't. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, oh no! Oh shit! All right, and then for Merlin. Is it possible I can guide Isu because I have a higher roll? I can like. I can. Wrap no, it, it's too late and now. <laughs> He's be like, it's hey, too late now. I noticed that you're getting lost. Um, uh, uwu, do you want to <laughs> hold my hand? No. No. Wax stick. Yes. Wax stick. Yes, God, yes. Mother. Listen Wax here. Stick. I got my own. <laughs> Nearly chopped, decapitated my life. I have two. You have two? What? I have two. Fuck. Okay, you know what? I have two too. I <laughs> use the sheath as one. Two. Sorry. Really? You want to use the sheath as a wax stick? Yes. That's it, the job it's, done. Well, in... it's made of wood. Look. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't upload Let's this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. You I like cut it. all these parts out. Nah, no, 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 no. It's good banter. Uh, no, okay. leave everything. Just get rid of the uwu. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with the What's yes. wrong with <laughs> Really? Have you looked up what it means? No. Nope. I, I, I mean, like, I, I, I've watched anime before. I think I would know. I just, you know. Moving on. Funnies, okay? Trying to funny be the funny memes. haha, man. We are heavily retconning that uwu. Funny memes. <laughs> well, I mean, this, that was set out of character, by the way. That was we're still weird. retconning it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, um, Asta and Ken, uh, and Merlin, actually, because, um, you guys are all over, uh, at or over, uh, Arthur's nature check. You guys managed to stay, uh, with the pact for the most part, uh, Crystalina and Isui, you guys kind of trail off a little bit, and then next thing you know, you don't see them. Aha, uh -huh, Asta, we are just the, the freaking awesome people who don't get lost in the woods. I used to never get lost in the woods, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, the <laughs> turns have tabled. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, that one we're keeping. Do do we need to go like look for them? I mean, what they never looked for us when we got lost. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, do we even notice that they got lost? Um, like ahead. You want to? Um, yeah. Like, I mean, you don't really notice it for a bit, but then next thing you know, you're like, "Huh, it's awfully quiet." Oh, wait, they're gone. Ah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be careful with that thing. Uh, My bad. Well, Crystalina, um, <laughs> what should we do now? Well, time to lick dirt. <laughs> yeah. Worked him last time, you know. Yeah, yeah, we what do we do now? We lick dirt. Oh, God. <laughs> we need that on a t shirt. We need that on a t shirt. I don't like dirt. It's the way of. Alright, let's go sure. find them. Like, if we, if we ever like make a merch shop. Uh, we need That's that gonna, like, to be up. like in terms of popularity. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, granted, it's going to probably take a while for that, give or take. But still. Um. Oh. All right. So first off, Asta, Ken, what are you guys going to do once you realize that Crystalina and Easy where you aren't there? I mean, maybe Easy we just teleported away. Maybe she learned. <laughs> or you mean pass? No, wait, no, wait. Pass without a trace out of here. She was like, you know, I'm done with this party. I'm gonna sneak my way out of here. Sneaking my way. Possible. I'm gonna find a new party. <laughs> One who doesn't say ubu. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing. <laughs> she wouldn't leave I you. I will get so the wax stick again. There. Yeah, we should go. Um. What? So he's gonna say, okay. So okay. How how far do you think it? It, like they disappeared off to like like how long have we been walking before we? I mean, noticed? we can trace our footsteps back until we find where they split off. I hope they don't go left or right. I hope they don't. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna. Just... Hey, what wait a your... second. Huh? 
What's your investigation modifier? I can maybe assist. Uh, investigation's a one. Oh, yeah, yours is better. Yeah. Than mine. yeah. All right. Um, First I mean, granted, I mean, uh, also, if you're going to be relying on footprints, I'd say that's could also be survival either because tracking. Well, I mean, so, we can start yeah, out so with yeah, you can, and whoever has the largest survival uh, thing, we can do that too. Yeah, I have a two in survival. I have a four in survival. Oh, damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you two. It's not a competition. Okay. No, uh, two, of, yeah. two of those came from uh, the fighter subclass. I was never that good in survival. I must explain. Uh, oh, yeah. That's freaking multi-class. All right. Yeah. I forgot about so, that for a second. Um... Yeah. yeah, so Yeah, just do whichever just do whichever role. Alright, so we'll start out with investigation. He's gonna be like, Hey okay guys, hang on a second. He's called out to Merlin and Arthur. Alright, hang on. We lost some of our crew. That's his bow. If that doesn't work. <laughs> and I was assisting on that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um, yeah, you tried to sort of, like, investigate all, uh, use your deductive skills to try and figure out where they broke off, um, but, you know, but, um, yeah, it's a little hard to tell exactly when and where, because footprints, for some reason, are, like, all over the place now, but... I mean, all right. So it looks like we're gonna have to get down and dirty. I'm gonna have to get on the floor, and he's gonna have to sniff don't. for the. He's gonna have to get on the floor, don't. and he's gonna sniff. Don't. He's not gonna wet the dirt this time. He's just gonna like get down, and he's gonna sniff. He's gonna be like, yeah. He's not gonna. Look he has a much like. more sensible idea. He's gonna sniff it. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! Don't don't tell me that now. Oh God! That makes it worse than what it actually is. <laughs> God damn it! All survival. <laughs> Sounds like Roll a survival. Okay, you want to assist me? You can be like, "Hey, I think I, I, think I smell something from over there." Oh my God. I'm not assisting you on this one, honestly. <laughs> I can only do the visual roll. I'm not getting down and sniffing it with you. <laughs> no, you don't okay. even have to get down. You can be like, "Okay, no, okay. Survival with just normal survival. Straight survival rolls. That the was lower than the last one. Okay, oh, you know for what? God's sake. Oh my God. I guess his feet sniffing is not that. I can't even. I can't even tell if you guys rolled or not. I did. Oh uh, Jesus like Christ! I have to cut like. Um. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which one of you guys got the four? Uh, Me. I got the eleven. Um. Okay. I guess Ken's yeah, because I... sniffing uh, prowess isn't developed You're... yet. <laughs> Yeah, you you get down, you sniff the dirt. Uh, it just smells like dirt. <laughs> um, Asta, you try to track them, and then you just see Ken sniffing the dirt, and you're like, what the hell are you doing? Hey, if only that were in that one. Yeah. Then you would have to. <laughs> Crystalina, we're never going to get found. I... <laughs> How about yeah. you guys invest? All right, so, you know, here, we're just going to walk aimlessly. In... Not aimlessly, oh, but we're, we... gonna... <laughs> we're just going to walk, like, in the direction of where we were coming from so that hopefully we can, like, hear them and we're just going to call out their name. We're going to go, we're going to find them the conventional way that normal people would actually find them. Can I... Of... Okay. can I cast the light cantrip on my keyblade and try to get attention? Mm hmm. Detention. Yes, you can. All right. So with that, um, Ken, I'm gonna Ken Asta. I'm gonna say uh, th that since uh, Isui is like lighting up her Keyblade, just like waving it. I'm gonna say roll perception with advantage. Both of us. With advantage. I mean, if you want to, at least one of you. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Just, I just want to see what I get. Okay, yeah. So, she okay, yeah. 
no, you guys both notice a uh, light shining off in the distance. It's just sort of like getting waved around, doing figure eights and some weird shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they are, probably Ken. in that direction. Hey, hello? Hey, sweet. Hello. Isui, you're realizing that Isui, you're realizing that their voices are coming in the opposite direction of where you're looking. Oh, you shit. did like you did a complete 180 and almost went back to the horses. Oh. Hello? Isui? Ken? It's me. Follow my voice. I'm not a monster in the woods just trying to get you here from like, you know, a familiar tone. That's like, that sounds like something a monster in the woods trying to get me with a familiar tone would say. Yeah, roll deception, Ken. <laughs> nope. Trust me. I swear. Um, I roll a five. Yeah, so with that, you guys managed to catch back up. Uh, Arthur just kind of looks at you guys and is like, is this a frequent thing with you guys? Kind of. It's normally him. Okay. This is well, now the turn is tabled. Yeah, anyway. he just kind of shrugs. Um, a few hours in, you make your way over to... Uh, you start to make your way over to a bit of a clearing. Uh, I didn't mean literally roll a deception. <laughs> but you just now noticed that? Yeah. I they, rolled that like minutes like, ago. Yeah, okay. Uh... So you guys uh, <laughs> start walking for a few hours, and eventually you make your way over to a sort of more open-ish clearing. Uh, you see that along the side there. Are, uh, you see that uh, water is trickling down off in the distance, coming into this big lake. Uh, you see that there are sort of stones uh, scattered all across uh, around the lake. And not just like regular, oh, hey, look, a stone. These are like big <laughs> stones that are kind of like lean, standing upright. They got like carvings and shit all over them. Oh, stones. Uh, Any swords <laughs> around? <laughs> uh, Merle, uh, Arthur looks over and he goes, These stones were carved by, um, uh, I want to say they were carved by druids a long time ago. And if they're some of the thing. they're like some of the things that kind of help give it power, like its properties. And Merlin's just like, You really are terrible at reading magical literature. The stones were actually part of the spell that I created all those years ago. Oh, the actual water itself is has magical properties because of the spirit that actually resides within the lake. There's a spirit in the lake. Oh yes, she's a she's a wonderful lady. Um. She was also the one who first put uh, Arthur's sword in a stone. Speaking of which, Arthur, where the hell is your sword? Uh, wait. Never mind, I just remembered. 